Sly Swag. Tyler from Buffalo. He says, I was sitting at home listening to the podcast, and a thought popped in my head. When you guys are talking about time travel and where you would want to go if you could travel back in time, I found it odd that Julian chose to go back in time to watch the Thriller in Manila boxing match that he's already seen. Then I remembered that Ali and Frazier said temperatures reached over 100 degrees, making it the hottest and sweatiest match ever fought in boxing history. No judgment if you're into sweaty men, more power to you. I just found that odd he would pick that match out of the uh... <laughs> Fuck you. You know what? I was like, what, two or three or something when the fucking fight was on? I did watch it. Don't fucking remember it. It was the greatest fight ever. Yeah, I'd want to be there. It has nothing to do with people getting sweaty. Everybody sweats when they box, you dumbass. It's just the fucking thrill of Manila, man. The parties. Fucking Muhammad Ali. It was a Sweatin'. great time. And the sweat. And the sweat. All that sweat. All oh, audience sweating. It was a good fucking time, man. Believe me. We have to raise a glass, boys. For what? For Coco the fucking gorilla. Coco the gorilla. Yeah, Coco the Gorilla. Who fucks Coco the Gorilla? Talk. Who's Coco the Gorilla? Yeah, fucking yeah. dumb. Smartest gorilla I ever invented. Rest in peace, Coco. Yes, Coco. Gorilla. Invented a gorilla? This thing was invented? But it All was... ever book got born. Fucking new sign language and everything. Raised kittens. Yeah. Could it tell you to fuck it off? Very... You've been fucking buried under a stove for the last 40 years. It was very, very nice to kitties. It loved kitties. Buried under a stove. What? What do you... I'm just surprised you don't know who Coco is. I'm what are you talking about offended. a stove? It's a fucking gorilla. Isn't that a fucking expression? Buried under a stove. Buried under a stove? I can't even figure years? this one out, man. I can't even figure out where that's coming from, Ricky, but... It's buried under something. I don't fucking know. For years. for years. Anyway, I feel bad for Coco. <laughs> Ricky, oh my God, I think you're... Oh, here, just wait. What do you got? This one's called Smoke Ricky Under Table. It's from Sarah Brady. Let's see. Okay. <clears throat> hey, guys, trying for the fourth time to email you three. Get it sorted, she says. Sorted. My husband, Peter, and I watch your show every single week and TPB every night whilst getting, whilst, she used the word whilst. Whilst what? Whilst getting fucked up, as Ricky would say. Do you think you guys will be back over here in sunny Scotland? As a matter of fact, we are coming to sunny Scotland. It may not be so sunny at this time of year. It's in September. September, that's good. Oh, yeah, it's 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 we're going in September. I think we're playing in Glasgow, Scotland, aren't Fucking we? love it there, man. I fucking love Glasgow. I like going down that walking street, mm -hmm. all fucked up, going in the shops with my Scottish money. Yeah. <laughs> it's very exciting. I did buy one of those phones that, remember, buddy, fucked me over? Bought one of the phone. Yeah, I and do. It didn't work, man. He said, hey, I'll sell you this phone, and then later call me on it, and we'll go out together for a drink. And you were like, yes. Why, why, why do you always have to fucking go there, man? Here's the rest of the thing, Ricky. Okay. If you do come to Scotland, I reckon we could smoke Ricky under the table. Are you up for the challenge, Ricky? Hoping to get a shout out from you three, Peter and Sarah, and they're in Glasgow. They're in Glasgow, Scotland. Is that what they call giving someone like a blowjob? Smoke them under the table? That's yeah. It does mean that in some places. I don't think that's what they're saying. I don't think Peter and Sarah are offering. Smoked under the table. I don't think they're offering to get under the table. Well, well you know, I'm up for hope it. not anyway. I'm up for any of it. I hope not. That would be weird. Hey, Peter. Hey, Sarah. How are you guys doing under there? Well, you're just passing it back and forth. <laughs> <laughs> Ricky. That's a crazy couple. Isn't that nice? Like a meat cigar. <laughs> I don't think that's what they meant, Ricky. I think they meant they could smoke more dope than you. When are we going well, to Glasgow? I, I welcome know? the challenge. You can bring all the dope you can bring, and we will see what happens. Here, just wait. I'm going to tell you when we're going to be in Glasgow. I just pull it up on the old 
computer. And it's going to pop up. September and 16th. Thing. And we are in Glasgow at the Royal Concert Hall, September 16th, 2018, baby. What day is that? What day? What I week? don't fucking know what day of the week it is. Let me look it up on the no. calendar, buddy. It's a Sunday. It's Se- Sunday. September 17th. We are in Nottingham, England. Nottingham, United Kingdom, also at the Royal Concert Hall. Is that Hall. where that movie was made? September 18th. Guess where we're going to be? Where? London, England. At the O2 cool. Academy in Brixton. 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 Like We've been there before. Remember those little kids started taunting us? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. That was up in that area. That <laughs> was pretty fucking crazy. That kid was fucking he tough. Was, he, he was, was fucked up. He was only about seven. I, he was ready to kill us. He said he was going to shank us. Yeah. He was only about seven. And I tried to put the fucking run to him. He goes, I'll fucking shank you. Yeah. And I was like, Jesus, Murphy. Get okay, the fuck little out of here, fucker. Settle down. Calm man. the fuck down there, little guy. He's going to grow up to be successful. Told me he was going to shank me. September 20th, guess where we are? Where? Manchester. Nice. Manchester's good. Manchester, like United Kingdom. At the Albert Hall. Oh, Ricky. Yes? I didn't tell you this one yet. No. After the Manchester show, yep. we have a day off. Yes. And now guess you, where we're going to be? Now you speak my language. Which? Guess where we're going to be for our day off oh, and where fuck. we play a show the next Please day. Please make it somewhere good. September 21st and 22nd, with a show on the 22nd at RAI, we are going to be in Amsterdam. Fuck yeah. You fuck yourself right the fuck now. Bing bong. Shut the fuck up. Amsterdam. Like the real one? The real real Amsterdam. (laughs) And we've got a day off, so we should start planning right now to keep him alive. But boys, think about this. In October, when it's legal in Canada, all of Canada is going to be like Amsterdam. Yeah, that's true. Won't have yeah. to go away anywhere. <clears throat> Won't be the same. Uh, you know yeah. what? It sort of takes the fun out of it because I like walking down the street carrying a bunch of dope and you see a cop and you're like, fuck you. Light up a joint. It's, you know, kind of like the tough fuck you. There's no edge. You're anymore. not going to have that anymore. It's like, ah, fuck, there's a cop and I'm smoking a joint. Who gives a fuck? It's well, lame. Ricky, you still have mushrooms on. I'm driving when you're over the limit and all that shit. Now it's like, yeah, it's cool. Now you can just do it. You I mean, can't, can't drive. do it. Smoke dope? No, oh, you can't. No, oh, man. I thought it was legal. They're legalizing it. But you can It's like you can't booze. drive on it. It's like liquor. I thought you could smoke wherever you smoke a cigarette. You can smoke a cigarette and drive. You can't smoke cigarettes. You cannot smoke weed places. and drive, Ricky. You're not allowed. Can you fly a helicopter? Fly a helicopter. As long as you're not fucking controlling it.